Hi Aries, welcome to your fortnightly check-in with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. Please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose and this resonates and you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button if you are already a continued subby, you know Raffi loves you. Um, also, remember these are purely tarot, there is no astrology or anything in these, so let's get straight into it. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance, and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, for your cross-purposes energy, over the course of this next fortnight, what do you need to know that is potentially getting in the way of the good stuff and uh, maybe potentially bogging you down in some way, shape, or form? And this week, you have this week, this fortnight, you have the devil card, right? So it's your own habits and patterns over this next fortnight. Um, and you know, this isn't to get down on you or anything like that, but it is to say, remember the thing about the devil card is. It represents where one of our choices, uh, the choice that we've made, a choice that we're about to make is actually, uh, you know, it's, it's coming from a place of habit and pattern. And I'm really sorry to say this, you, over the next fortnight, your first instinct is going to be to blame everybody else. And the truth of the matter is, it's the devil card, right? This is stuff that's coming from, you know, when, uh, I don't know if you ever saw that film where the, the babysitter was trying to figure out who the, you know, what was going on and the guy says to her, the call's coming from inside the house. That devil card is telling you the same thing. Over this next fortnight, you need to be really honest with yourself about where you're getting in your own way, where your habits, your patterns, the things that you are doing are actually creating the shitstorm that you're experiencing, all right? And I, I'm, this isn't about saying, oh, you're doing everything wrong or anything like that. It's just to say that the cross purposes over this next fortnight, if they're showing up, they are actually about you rather than anybody else. Now, when it comes to your actions and interactions with the world at large, you've got the page of Penta, uh, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. You've got the Fool card, okay, very nice, and the Seven of Swords. Um, I love this for starting uh, new business ideas or new projects or new endeavors. It also suggests that over the course of the next fortnight, you are really wanting to jump in with something that has been a long held plan. And I actually feel like a lot of you are gonna set something into motion over this next fortnight that you have you know, probably wanted to do for a while, but couldn't for any number of reasons. Now, what I love most about this for you um, is that you are, you're an Aries, right? So you're jumping in, you're ready to go. That Seven of Swords with the full card, um, whatever it is that you're trying to do over this next fortnight, keep it quiet, all right? Keep it under wraps. This is not a time to reveal what you're doing. It's a time to do and speak about it after, all right? Like that, that has, to, has to be a part of your process over the, this next fortnight. Also, this could be, uh, for some of you, maybe you discover um, or are, uh, a lie of some kind is revealed to you and it will come about very much by surprise. So be mindful um, about that, all right? When it comes to your communications or your career and your communications, you've got the Nine of Cups, beautiful, with the King of Wands. So this is your energy. Whether you're a man or a woman is irrelevant. Um, however you identify the King of Wands, this is Aries energy, right? So you've got that with the Nine of Cups, beautiful. And you've got this with the Eight of Swords. Isn't that interesting? So what do we see? Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, and they follow directly in sequence. What this tells me is uh, in terms of ideas, intellectual pursuits, academic or professional, uh, things are really gonna start to ramp up. Over this next two weeks, you're gonna see a progression. Um, it is potentially gonna get quite tense in those areas of your life. So just keep that as a, a, a consideration. Now, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this does suggest actually that you are making some serious headway but you're looking at the journey over this next fortnight, like rather than seeing it in its steps and its components, you seem to be looking at the whole thing as like, oh my gosh, I've got this, you know, I've got another two years to go. I've got this massive project, you know, I'm gonna be tied to this forever. If you can't snap out of that mindset and find the fun and the enjoyment of it, it's going to be like that, all right? So there needs to be a shift or a change in perspective for you guys this fortnight. When it comes to, Right, when it comes to your, um, those of you that are employed by somebody else, 
This could actually be where something that you have wanted or something that you've been promised by an employer um, really puts you more firmly or squarely in the spotlight. And it might come about really suddenly or in a way that you don't expect. So it's kind of like you're just thrust into the limelight. And there might be a moment where you kind of think, oh shit, okay, well, yes, I wanted this, but I didn't, I wasn't aware it was gonna put me up front and center like that. Um, you will adapt, you will adjust. It's part of what you do really, really well. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, you are one of, you know, the ultimate badasses of the Zodiac. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, gorgeous energy for you. Um, this is staying power, but it's also the realization of something that you have been working towards for some time. Uh, with that Nine of Cups and the King of Wands, this does suggest that you are you're either connecting to a client that can really take you and your business to another level, fantastic, or um, you are, this fortnight, you're gonna find yourself in front of the right person, right? So in either way, you'll be connecting with somebody that can amplify your business, but you're gonna find yourself in front of the right person for this moment in time and where you want it to go. Be warned, right? That Eight of Swords, whoever this person is, because that comes up with the, the King of Wands, whoever this person is, they will demand a lot from you, all right? It's, in fact, I would say this is for all of you in some way, shape or form, but especially for those of you that are business owners. Do expect them to push you, to push your buttons, to demand more out of and from you. And then finally, for those of you that are retired and no longer working, this is a new commitment that you're making. Over this next fortnight, there's something that you're jumping in on and it's like you know this is gonna take you time to achieve or to do. So you're kind of like, no, you know what? I'm going in for this. I'm totally ready for this. Uh, for those, uh, sorry, for your love and relations, look at this, you've got the lover's card. Now, this is an interesting card to show up here, right? So the lover's card, I'm gonna talk about love in a moment, so don't freak out. You will still get your love messages. Uh, you love junkies. Um, for Right, so the lover's card represents choice, right? It's the choices and the decisions. The devil card shows us where we've made the wrong choice, right? And so the fact that you've got this, it's potentially within the relationship sector that you are making a choice that is cutting off your nose to spite your face. Now, remember your love, uh, your heart and half or your love and relations isn't just about your intimate partnerships, it's also about your familial ties. So if you're feeling in that, well, you know, everybody just wants to blame me and if you get into all of that sort of victimhood and going down that route, your relations, your love and relations, your relationship or your, you know, familial ties and relations, that's where that's going to be coming from. And this, what's really being highlighted to you is your own actions. And if you can't handle that, then you got to, you got to make a different choice, right? Now, when it comes to love, beautiful, the lovers, love, relationships, partnership, with the seven of wands, so there's potentially an argument here brewing within the relationship. So if you're partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, and you've got the judgment card, this is a, 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 a dispute, an argument, or a challenge that has come up before. It's not a new one. This is something that you and a partner potentially go round and round on, and then you leave it because things get a little bit better, and then you know it never really gets resolved. This fortnight, you actually have a chance or a, an opportunity to fix or to mend something in the relationship that has been a recurring problem or issue. It's going to require frank honesty, which is, you know, something that you guys do very well, but not brashness. This isn't about who is braver than the other person. It's not about who is right or who can shout the loudest or who's the strongest and flexing their muscles. This isn't about that. It's really not. And if you rely on all of those things that are habits, you're not gonna make the progress that you're looking for, all right? For those of you that are um, single and looking to mingle, quite frankly, this is gonna be somebody that rubs you up the wrong way. Someone that absolutely pisses you off. And you know what? That's how you will know that they are totally into you and vice versa. For your money and materials, you have the daughter or the page of swords. You have the eight of cups, okay and you have the four of wands, right? So money over this fortnight, there are gonna be some tough conversations around money. I'm just gonna tell you straight up. Now, what do we see? 
You've got the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Two sevens represents news. So there is news coming in, but then you've also got the uh, Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Two eights represents new knowledge. So something that you are being told, some piece of information, some tidbit is going to make a big difference when it comes to your finances, your financial outlook. And it may very well be that some of you are planning to make a move of some sort that changes your financial destiny. And I do not say that lightly. Now, when it comes to uh, your physical health and vitality, for a lot of you, this could be if you've had tests, if you've been waiting on test results, etc. This could be some really great news that comes in for you. So I love that. Um, I will say as well, when it comes to your home and environment, for a select few of you, this may very well be a change of, uh, you know, maybe you're starting the process of a change of location or potentially you're having some kind of challenge when it comes to the home sector. Uh, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.